you're looking for something fun to do with your family this week, how about your family pets? Well, I've got some great ideas for you. I'm Laura Nickerson, and this is The Buzz. Last weekend, we celebrated Earth Day here in Calabasas, so there's no better time than now to ask this quick kid question. What's a fun arts and crafts activity you can do with your kids to help them think green? I'll give you that answer in a minute, but now here's some fun things to try with your family this week. You know your dogs? They want to have fun. So take them to the Canine Classic Dog Walking Festival. On Sunday, April 21st from 9 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. at De Anza Park, bring your dogs and your family to join in the fun. There will be dog adoptions, celebrity guest judges, food trucks, kids activities, and a ton of fun events like a canine fashion show, walkathon, and a dog-human couple competition. It's free to get in, but if you want to enter a competition, you will need to sit, stay, and pay a $10 fee. Visit www.canineclassic.org for details. You don't need an animal to join in the fun, so bring your kids even if you're dogless. But if you do have them, make sure you bring them on a leash. Your dogs, not your kids. Kids Club at the Commons is back. Wow, try saying that five times fast. Every Tuesday night, free activities for the kids from 6 to 7 p.m. at the Commons. This week is the magician, Kenny. So come on down, enjoy some dinner, and watch your kids' crankiness magically disappear. Fellow musical theater lovers, make sure you check out Calabasas High School's production of West Side Story. It's the tragic tale of Romeo and Juliet, updated into 1950s New York when gang wars ruled the city. Calabasas High School's acclaimed theater and music programs will perform this classic in the school's beautiful new Performing Arts Education Center on the CHS campus. West Side Story will run from April 16th through the 20th at 7 p.m. each evening, with an additional matinee on Saturday, April 20th at 2 p.m. Tickets can be purchased online at www.chstheater.com. Take your older kids to see this beautiful and moving piece about tragic young love. And then embarrass them by singing the entire score while you do the dishes. I'm here with the newly appointed mayor, Fred Gaines, to give us some inside scoop on a really cool upcoming event. Laura, are you a baseball fan? Yeah. I am a big baseball fan and I am so excited because we're going to have our first ever City of Calabasas night at Dodger Stadium. Tuesday, June 4th, against the San Diego Padres. Cap night, everyone gets a free Dodger cap. Tickets as low as $11, and we're really excited to have everybody come out Tuesday, June 4th for Calabasas night at Dodger Stadium. That sounds like it's gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna be there, are you? Hey, grandparents. Have you talked to your grandkids about your family history yet? Why don't you start a joint family history project? Ask the grandkids which kinds of members of the family they wanna to get to know a little bit better, and then spend time together researching and gathering stories about them. It's a great way to spend a little bit of time together. Internet research is easy to do, or you can just go to the library and ask for some help. Earlier, I promised you an answer to the question, what's a fun arts and crafts activity you can do with your kids to help them to think green? Here's an idea, make a recycling robot. Have your kids go through your recycling and pull out cans, bottles, whatever they want, and they can spend the afternoon gluing pieces together, painting, and creating their own robot. Hey, it's a fun activity, and guess what? You've already got all the supplies. Well, I hope you enjoy a little quality time with your family this week. I'm Laura Nickerson, and I'll be back next week at the Canine Classic with more of The Buzz.